Welcome back to the channel. Well, since I am pretty much done with my little Kawasaki KLX 230S, I figured it's a good time to just do a quick walk around and see what I have done and uh, what have I added once again and what have I modified. A little, little disclaimer up front here, I was actually kind of surprised that uh, there is really not much of an aftermarket support in general for the little Kawasaki out there considering it is a Kawasaki and considering it is actually rather popular it's a little bit surprising to me but in any case let's start up front I replaced the grips that came stock which uh, were not very comfortable at all and actually started hurting my hands with uh, pro taper pillow grips and uh, these are the same ones that I used on my Talaria Sting electric dirt bike and uh, they were beautifully uh, pretty easy to come off and also pretty easy to install. Next up you can see the stock levers are gone, clutch and brake side and uh, there are no specific levers that I found for the little Kawasaki KLX 230 specifically but uh, I had an extra pair laying around that I ordered for my Kawasaki Z125 and lo and behold they fit right in, <coughs> work great and look great in my opinion. So no complaints. Uh, as you can also see I deleted the stock mirror on the right side and added a little mirror here on the left side that is easy removable from this part as well as from this part. And so I can use this as a GoPro mount or I can just take it totally off if I don't want it. I think it's a pretty slick uh, solution. In the middle of the bar I added a giant loop little bag. Even though it doesn't look very big, it is actually big enough to get my uh, iPhone 14 Pro in there, which is rather large. So that is rather nice and uh, you can also get obviously your credit cards in there, keys and whatnot since there's not that much storage space available on the Kawasaki in general. Uh, coming down here, I wanted a bash plate since it really just came from the bars from the factory. Uh, once again, Kawasaki offers a plastic solution which I did not think would be very doable at all. So I actually had to revert to eBay and had to order this one from China. Uh, you guys know I'm not a big fan of products from China, but uh, in this case I had literally <laughs> no choice. So unfortunately, uh, but uh, the fit and finish wasn't great. I needed to do some adjustments to it, but uh, I was eventually be able to put it in place and it should provide some good, decent basic protection from the bottom. Coming around, the stock packs had to go as well. Uh, they were very, very cheap and uh, didn't look very doable. And uh, once again, as usual, with all my off-road bikes, I went with pivot packs. Uh, they are foldable and then movable forward and backward. And uh, they are a little bit more on the pricey side at 200 plus dollars, but again, uh, they are great to lay your foot on and you can stand up on them great, very comfortable and uh, very doable. I had them on the V85, I had them on my BMW 310GS and uh, now on this one. And then also what you can't really see at the moment is uh, from the factory there is no rear rack, so I added a rear rack in the back that currently houses my big tail bag but you, you kind of get the idea here uh, once again there is nothing officially out there so that is another ebay product unfortunately that i had to order from china but uh, once again i was actually kind of surprised this one actually fit very well and also the craftsmanship seems to be rather nice and the way this one is designed it actually adds uh, nice little grab handles here for the bike that the bike naturally is missing so if you're on the trail and you lay it down it is actually rather nice to be able to get on here and be able to lift up the bike from there and uh, last but not least since uh, there is no storage on this bike from the factory i added a rig adventure bag on here this is the tall option 
that is expandable and uh, it's actually a pretty good size just attaches to the little luggage rack with a couple of uh, strips and uh, I don't believe it is uh, waterproof but it should definitely be water resistant and it is also expandable so if you bring this one here around you can actually see how the whole bag starts coming up and so you can even put more in there uh, once again this is just uh, to have maybe some basic tools in there on the trail just in case you have to fix a flat tire or whatnot and just have some basic stuff with you on the trail but uh, that is about it uh, if you have followed my channel you know that i usually modify the exhaust system but since my trident is rather loud and my little kawasaki z125 is rather loud i decided for the moment to leave the exhaust completely stock um, it's not the greatest sound in the world but it's not that bad either and uh, that will do it for now you probably noticed also i have a bunch of uh, little stickers here that came with the products that i bought so i put them on there just to break up the pretty bland paint scheme uh, some people might think it's silly but uh, again it kind of breaks the bike up a little bit and i have looked into graphic kits in general but i didn't feel like spending the money for the moment since this is really not gonna be my primary bike but really just more a learner bike for me oh there's actually one more thing that i just noticed the passenger packs i deleted them as well and uh, this side was very easy you just uh, unscrew it here and it comes right off the other side turned out to be somewhat tricky since they actually the bracket actually holds the rear brake reservoir forward and so i found actually the solution here once again from the little z125 they have a rear passenger pack delete and they have these little pucks here that they use as uh, crash protection and i had to modify it just a little bit to make it fit but in the end i think it came out pretty good while reusing the factory stock bracket and uh, yeah should be serving me well but uh, that is it once again there is not unfortunately that much stuff out there right now specifically for the klx so if you get one you do have to definitely improvise on this one a little bit but uh, as you can see with a little bit of ingenuity you can change quite a few things around on this bike and make it into a nice little machine anyway that will do it for today if you enjoyed the video please uh, tap that like button if you haven't subscribed if you feel inclined to do so please subscribe it would uh, help the channel out until next time keep it on too be safe out there and uh, I will see you soon. Bye.